You ready? All right. Hey guys, it's Casey from Teaching On Less, and today we're going to be chatting all about using centers and fun math different manipulatives to use in your classroom for kindergarten curriculum. I have a special co-host with me today, and his name is... Ari Morris. Ari Morris, and he is my son, and how old are you, Ari? Eight years old. He's eight years old, and he's in the second grade, so I thought, what better way to learn about kindergarten curriculum than to have somebody who's been through it recently? So Ari agreed to come help me out. We are starting our live a little bit earlier than we had planned, but we're hungry. We're hungry, right? Yeah. And we're going to go, yeah, we're going to go eat some Japanese food. So we thought we would go ahead and get started. So what I want to chat with you all about today is comparing numbers. Now, if you teach comparing numbers in your classroom, then you've come to the right place. This is going to be a fun Facebook Live where we chat about different ways to use centers and different ways to use numbers just to chat about greater than, equal to, less than, and how to use those different symbols. And Ari has agreed to help, so he is going to help. Now, what we use in the classroom are tons of manipulatives that you can make without having to buy them. Just don't make tons of faces at the camera. And um, one of the things that I love to use is by really useful, it's a really useful box. And I found this on Amazon. You can check on, I have a blog post written in the description. You can find all the stuff we're chatting about in that blog post. Tons of free materials in there. And every single thing I'm going to show you today that I've purchased on Amazon, I have it linked down at the very bottom of that blog post. So this is where we keep all of our math game pieces. And Ari's going to be so helpful and show us how you can take them out. They're really easy for kids to use. I will say it's not as durable as some of the other materials that I've used, but it is really cute and really functional. Another thing that I love to use in my classroom is this iris container. I showed you guys this with the Sight Word Games last week, and I'm going to show you how I use it for my math centers, math instruction, math curriculum, math lesson plans, everything, literally everything. Okay? And who's yawning? Are you, are you bored? You're not bored? Okay, good. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. This is what the Math and Me curriculum looks like from the very front. And on here you can find a quick guide, which is also available in that blog post I was chatting about. But this quick guide, I'm sorry the mic is in the way, um, but this quick guide is going to give you a quick little handy answer key on what all of these games are and what they do. So if for any reason you have a teacher moment where you can't remember what game is what, you've got this quick guide ready to go at any given time. And it just goes over a quick little snippet about what each game is. Did you, did you want to find something? Why did it say, why are they jumping? So they're jumping because this game is called Move It. I didn't even tell him to say that. This game is called Move It, and the kids are all jumping and moving. So all of the symbols that go with the games are to help you realize that this game is going to get you up and moving. So this is the one he was referring to. So, all right, so next is our lesson plans. For each unit, there are 12 complete lesson plans for each and every unit. That will be 168 lesson plans total. And if you teach anywhere in Georgia, we usually have 180 school days. So that gives you a little leeway for, you know, the, the normal days where you need to just take a break, like right before spring break and all that kind of stuff. So here are the lesson plans, but we're going to jump right into how we get started with our morning math block. And that is with the morning math and me. And that's just some worksheets that you'll give your students. I have tons of these for free on this blog post if you want to check it out. But here is one example of how I teach less than to the students. And there's just different cute little graphics. I don't know if you can see it, that they can draw, they can color on as they are tracing the words less than. So of course we're using the alligator to show them with alligator, you know, is eating each number the number that is greater than. And Ari is going to help me out on some of these morning math worksheets. So morning math in me is made for repetition because as teachers, when we use repetition, we know the material really sticks. And that's something I think that we forget often is that we don't repeat what we want our students to know enough. And I think that morning work and worksheets are a great way to do that. All right, Ari's going to help me out on one of these worksheets. This worksheet, we're, ta we're teaching students how to determine equal to. So the first, the directions just say read the instructions and then color in the correct number of students. So Ari, read this one loud for color, us, please. Color the pictures equal to five. Color the pictures equal to five. So will you count out five? These are little girls in this one, if you can see it. One, two, three, four, five. Good. So Ari would color in these five little girls. All right, read the next one for me. Color of the pictures equal to three. Okay, so now he would need to do this. All right, so we're going to move on. The next sheet says... Color one... You're, you're good. Go directions, re read the instructions and color in the correct number of shapes. 
Color one greater than one. Good. So we're learning about comparing numbers greater than, less than, or equal to. And on this worksheet, we kind of change gears a little bit, and we go over one greater than one. So the first photograph is snowflakes. So the students would count one extra one, and they would color it in. All right. Another thing that I like to do right when we finish our morning work is to transition into math whole group time. I go into great detail about this in a fun little math workshop that you can sign up for on the blog. And that workshop is called Math Centers Like a Boss. And I know that you are curious on how to get your math centers just you know, going and running the way that they're supposed to. So be sure to sign up for that free workshop too because it's a load of fun. All right, so once we get into our whole group area, it's important to give to delegate and give students some of their very own jobs. Another thing that we encourage our students to do is not have them sit here like this sweet one is doing, but to include them in all of the conversations. So when we're talking about greater than, less than, we'll have the alligator and they're going to be chomping at different things. So we know that that determines greater than. And not we'll have, but not your head. No, not your head. We won't make them chomp at your head. And just do different things. Like if we're going to do equals to, it's really good to connect that hand and mind to each other. So if I tell the student, all right, let's sh show me with your arms what the symbol equals to looks like. Can you show me? Yes. Like okay, so he did it with his hands. Good. And every student can have a different reaction. They can go like this. Um, they can do different things. But when we connect that kinesthetic learning, it really, really sets us apart. So we're doing our whole group instruction. We're chatting with our students, and we're delegating. We want to make sure that students have jobs, that students know what they're supposed to do as they're learning new content. So we have these fun little job cards that are available in this free workshop, too, if you sign up for it. So are right, you going to show those to the camera and then tell them what they say on them? These are just one of, like, 40 jobs, but... Teacher helper. Teacher helper. Good. What's next? Board wiper. Yep, board wiper. Calendar helper. Now, when we get ready for whole group time, it's always a good time to start our calendar. So, you can always have a calendar helper to help you. All right. And then the next one is just a girl version of the first one, which is? Teacher's helper. Teacher helper. All right. So, let's get started into the math and me games and the whole curriculum. I said you have all these lesson plans, but the most fun is all of these games that you're going to be playing with your students when it comes to comparing numbers. The first game that we're going to play is a fun one that is going to be all about unicorns. All right, will you hold that up for us, please? And this goes with the Trace It game. Let's see if I can find the Trace It game in here. So on the Trace It game cards, here it is. Um, students will turn it over, and let's say they need to know what this symbol is. They'll determine that this symbol is less than, and they'll trace it on this game card. And on this one, they're going to pull from the game card pieces. Now we've got these, uh, we've got these situated right up here. So this one is the unicorn game. So we want to make sure that Ari, will you draw two numbers for me, please, and show them to the camera so they know what numbers you drew. All right, the first number is five. Five. Let's stick it on the card somewhere. Okay, and then the next number is two. Two. All right, so stick it on the card and show the card to everybody. So now the student needs to determine five is what than two. So Ari, what response would you want to put in the middle of the unicorn? Five is greater than two. Great job. And hold that to the camera so they can see it. So five is greater than two. Now, if your students don't love unicorns, although I think everybody, do you love unicorns? I feel like everybody totally. loves unicorns. Totally. I feel like everybody loves unicorns. But uh, So this is a fun game. Students just draw game cards without you having to purchase like crazy amount of manipulatives. These are just fun little unicorns and numbers. I've got Velcro dots on the back of them and on the game boards, which is just a piece of paper laminated with Velcro dots on there, and students can play. You can use this as a center. You can separate this big stackable thing and just put these little boxes everywhere. It's just great fun. All right, so that's one way. Do you hear the train? We live in South Georgia. This is what happens. We have a train track right outside there. So um, we're just going to keep rolling with it. Add all the offices you pick is the one beside the train. Have to add all the offices that I pick, I pick the one with the train. That's right. All right, so another fun game that I love to play is all about ice cream and popsicles, which I know is a fan favorite. And this one is the same thing, only these game cards have directions already written on them for another center. So the, the game cards themselves will either say less than, already, greater than, or equal to. You got it. And the little girl is eating a popsicle and the little boy is eating an ice cream. So the same thing goes for our ice cream and popsicles. We have little game pieces that have numbers on them. 
I'm making, oh, I'm making him hungry. We were starving before we started. That's why we got started early. So, okay, so Ari is going to determine there's no symbol on here, but there are words. And it's important that our students understand how to use the symbols, but also how to use the actual words. So Ari is going to draw a number for us, the ice cream, which means the boy, and it is number? Seven. Seven. You want to stick it on our game card? All right, so read the number sentence for me, Ari. Seven is less than. Seven is less than, and then grab his popsicle. Fifteen. Fifteen, and then stick it on there for me. Seven awesome. Seven is less than fifteen. Great. So you want the students to answer this, to read it as a number sentence, and then if you're doing this as a small group thing, you can have the students answer if they think it is true or if they think it's false. And one easy way to do that would be just to use your hands. They can give you a thumbs up if it's true. They can give you a thumbs down if they think it is false. That's a great way to use this in a flexible group setting if you're wanting to work one-on-one -on -one with multiple students. All right, so, oh, God bless you. Another game. Is that a fake? Was that a fake sneeze? No, I think I need a tissue. You need a tissue? I think you're good. I think you're good, dude. Just roll with it. All right, another game, and we're going to be wrapping this up shortly. There are tons and tons of games. I'm just going to be going over a few of them, but you, uh, you can read about all of them on our blog, caseymorris.com, that I've linked in the description if you're just joining us. And tons of games, not going to go into all of them, but this one is my favorite. We all have favorites, and this one is my favorite because with me and the students, I feel like it's a really good real-world connection. Students are all into the selfie movement right now, and they love anything to do with pictures. So what better way to join a movement than to make some math games about them? So right now we have students in a class photo, and there is a word problem or a word sentence that 10 is something than 7. And I need you to find for me a student that will enter into the photograph with his friends or her friends to make this number sentence true. So Ari, draw one for us, please. All right, so he's got a beautiful little redheaded girl, and underneath her it says what? Greater than. Greater than. So read that number sentence for us. So now that she's entered into the picture Ten with her friends. Greater than seven. Great. Ten is greater than seven. And this is just so much fun because students can draw multiple numbers and do multiple different ways. There's also a version, I'm trying to get it where you can see all the students and how stinking cute they are. I mean, come on now. There is... Um, so you can do that with Velcro dots. Another way I like to do that is with these teeny tiny clothespins. So you would just put Velcro dots on the clothespins and have the students clothespin them in the correct pictures. Another way that you can do that game, I've given you some blank options. So you can use a dry erase marker and you could put a student in the picture. Can I borrow her? All right, so you could say, okay, we, we put Sally in the picture and the number sentence says greater than. Write two numbers using a dry erase marker that make that number sentence true. It's just another fun way to do it. Are you leaving us? No. Oh, you are so fabulous. He went and got us um, an expo marker. So make that number sentence Ari Forest true. So something is greater than something else. Between 0 and 20 if you don't mind. Somebody ask us a question. Kids would love these games. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Who, let's see. I can't see who. It, it's so far away. It's Marka, so small. Markisha. Markisha. Is it Markisha? Yeah. I think Hope we said that right. All right. Write us a number sentence. 19 is greater than. Greater than. 19 is greater than 18. He tried to trick us, though, because it was close, wasn't it? And. I was going to see if I, I don't have a Velcro dot on this one so it'll stick, but yeah, he wrote those on there with dry erase markers. 19 is greater than 18. This is just a very small portion of some of the fun games that are included in this one unit, the unit number five, the Math and Me curriculum. I'd love to have you check out more on the blog if you're interested. We've got fun things like Farmville, Let's Go Fishing, which is always fun. We're going to do puzzles. We also have a girl farmer because... Duh, we're a girl farmer. And there's just so much more. It's so much more than just worksheets and games. I'd love for you to check it out. But thank you so much to my wonderful co-host, Ari. Ari, for helping me out. This may not be his last Facebook Live. He did such a good job. I think I might bring him on for even more. But we appreciate you watching. If you're just joining us, I've chatted about some of these fun boxes and fun things that I've gotten. Everything that you see here, most of it I purchased on Amazon, and I have it linked in the blog post down below. So, yes, sir. It won't come off. It won't come off? It's because you have to lick your finger, but we won't do that on camera. It's 
too nasty. We'll, we'll use Windex or Clorox wipe. All right, so thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Facebook Live, all about comparing numbers. We hope to see you again next week sometime, and we will catch you later. Say bye. So where did you get this? Oh, let's for storage bin. I ju- well, I just um, was going over that. You can check it out on my blog. You can see all of them. They're already on Amazon. I have them linked in there, so you can check them out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Say bye. If I come next week. If you come next week.